Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Plastics, they're everywhere. They're in foods that are consumed by us all the time. And the concern is with plastics about some of the way the plastics are made and the materials that can come out of plastics and into our body and the effects they have. For example, water bottles, tea bottles, lots of plastic, the healthy bar you think you're going to eat, the yogurt, plastic, the hummus chips, plastic, even your coffee, plastic. And yet we have seen a lot of things called BPA and all other things, plasticizers called phthalates, which cause estrogen or testosterone-like activity in human beings and has been linked to birth defects as well as cancers and other things. Brings me to my favorite topic of cooking, which is sous vide, where we place food, meats, vegetables, fruits, into a plastic container, suck it dry, expose it to temperatures of usually around 140 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour or maybe more. And the concern is, isn't this a problem? Because it's plastic exposed to heat right next to food, much like plastic but refrigerated. The answer is this has been looked at quite a bit. BPA, the bags that are used from the manu major manufacturers that we checked on, were free of both BPA and phthalates. Nevertheless, there have been other concerns about, well, if you take plastics, superheat them, put them on cancer cells, they grow farther or faster because they have estrogen-like compounds. Well, these plastics are not the same as the plastics used in sous vide. Sous vide plastics are very carefully determined and meant to undergo heat, usually less than 212 degrees, which is boiling point. Some are meant to go beyond boiling point. But the bottom line is, is that those ingredients don't leach out. They've been tested, they've been looked at. It doesn't mean future things won't come in and we won't be concerned with the future, but plastics are everywhere. For those of you who are old enough, remember Mrs. Robinson and Dustin Hoffman when he said plastics, the future's in plastics. Well, there are as many different kinds of plastics as there are metals. And there are those that are industrial grade, which are heavily contaminated and have problems. And there are those that are food grade and those that are pharmaceutical grade. For now, sous vide is safe. So, the best thing about sous vide is it's a lot better and healthier than cooking on a non-stick surface. It's a lot easier and safer than using a microwave with plastic. Go ahead and use your sous vide and enjoy it. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson for your doctor's orders. Good day.